Michael Rosa, head baseball coach at Widener University in Chester, PA. Here today with Figure It Out Baseball, and we're gonna be talking about charge plays in the infield. Okay, so there's a few different varieties of options uh, when you're coming and getting a, a, a slow roller, which would be a charge play. You got three options. You got two options with the glove, and then you've got a bare hand option, okay? Talk about the bare hand one first, it's simple. What we teach, if the ball's still, so it's stopped rolling, it's an automatic bare hand. Other than that, the only time we barehand it is when it's a do or die play at first base, meaning you've got a plus type runner and you know you got to get rid of it fast. And the only way you're going to get him is if you barehand and get rid of it fast, and that'll become a barehand. Okay? The key to the barehand, as you approach, we want our left foot forward. We want to tilt down with our right arm, our, our right shoulder. Okay? And you want to think about getting that ball with your entire hand. You want to claw that. Guys that tend to try and reach out and get their grip on it, that becomes really tricky. That's got to land perfectly in my fingers for me to be ready to throw. And that's when it bounces out a lot. If I come in and I kind of try and bear claw it and I just go at it like this, under the ball and push through, okay, that's key. I want to be under the ball and push through. Okay, well now, as I'm, I'm coming through, I got left foot forward. As I'm coming through, I pull up, get my grip, and I throw off my right foot. And that's a do or die charge play bare hand. Okay? This way, I got left foot forward, so I can just get rid of it on one step. Okay, if I'm taking any more than one step, probably not getting the guy. Now our glove plays. We got two options. One is outside of the left foot, and the other one is inside the left foot. Outside the left foot are the ones we're going to see more commonly at the younger levels, and guys that bodies haven't quite matured yet from an arm strength standpoint to work inside the, the left foot. So outside the left foot, okay, we like left foot forward, outside the left foot. The key here is get your Get yourself down. Get your body down and under the ball. Okay. We want to push through. Push through. Okay. Out here, so we can make the transfer happen out front. Biggest mistake I see. Guys get here and they pull the ball because they see pro guys doing it. Okay. So they'll pull the ball this way. But what happens is I pull the ball down one step, two steps, three steps to get rid of it. At my best, three steps to get rid of it. If I got here and push through, I can get rid of it in one step. Okay, so if I can get rid of them one step, obviously that's gonna be way more quicker and ideal than what we wanna do, okay? So it's here, push through, transfer happens out front, and now I'm able to get rid of it right away. Or we're gonna charge play inside the left foot, which we got left foot forward. I'm gonna go right inside the ball on my foot, two-handed, okay? The key is two-handed here, so I can again get rid of it in one step, all right? If I'm one-handed, then I come through, my right foot hits, I'm not ready to throw yet, so that's gonna be two, three steps. Okay, so if I get two hands, I'm in a good position to throw. As we talk about the throw, okay, you'll notice this is going to be a throw on the run. So if I'm throwing on the run, the key to being successful and accurate with my throws, okay, is I want to throw low. I'm going to throw from a low slot. I can't get up on top. So I'm going to throw from a low sidearm slot, okay. And as I throw, I want to think about two things. One is elevating my body through my throw, and two is taking my belt buckle right at my target. So if I'm doing those two things here, okay, what's gonna happen is I'm not gonna get a ton of run movement on my ball. I'm gonna be able to keep it accurate. Still gonna get a little bit of tail, but I'm gonna be, keep, be able to keep it much more accurate as opposed to the guys that throw here and fall off. And what happens to those guys is tons of tail, really hard to be accurate, really hard for your first baseman to receive those. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. First one will be outside the left leg. Second one will be inside the left leg. Third one will be a bare hand, and I'm going to show you how that kind of works as it comes all together, game speed. I'm Mike LaRosa, head baseball coach at Widener University. You just saw uh, practicing charge plays or slow rollers and the three progressions with those. Feel free to check out my other infield videos where we're working on double play pivots around the base.